Well, good morning. Welcome back to another video. I'm in the woods, finally in the woods. So I got the missus to drop me off about half past one yesterday afternoon and I bought in my cast iron basically. I wouldn't normally trek with that so I didn't have to walk too far. So I bought my cast iron and I had a, a beef roast last night. So hence why I didn't do no pieces to camera yesterday. Um, I just filmed a load of B-roll and just got the wood prep sorted out and camp sorted. And it's like anything, because I haven't been out and camped and hammock camped for a while, it just took me longer than usual to be honest, so um, by the time I was actually sorted out um, and everything was cooking and sorted, then yeah, there was no, no light left to, to film a piece of camera, so yeah, you've just got the B-roll from yesterday. Today is a different day, um, I've got the fire going already and I'm going to do some bannock and bacon this morning. So I've already had a coffee, sort of slept in a little bit this morning so I didn't sleep too well to start with and I got a little bit chilly last night. Temperature dropped down to about I don't know, minus two, minus one and yeah I've got the DD under blanket for my hammock and I've got my summer bag so that's probably why I was a little bit cold. And because I bought all my cast iron and stuff like that I didn't really have room for my bigger winter sleeping bag which is just too bulky. So I thought I'd just put up for it for one night if I was a little bit cold but you know it wasn't too bad I was just on the edge though so yeah one to look out for in the future but um yeah the fire needs attending to so I'm going to get some bannock knocked up some bacon on the go and get another brew and let that fire burn out and yeah have a slow pack up and and uh, get home for this afternoon so see you in a bit Well, yeah, that's it. Another camp done. So I'm really glad I did get out. Um, it's been a long time coming this camp. Um, I'm, I hope you enjoyed the video. I mean, it's a bit of a short and sweet one to be honest. So I had the DD hammock front line and the under quilt for it last night with the three by three tarp over the top. And like I say, I'd um, yeah, I'd probably, I was a little bit cold if I'm honest. But that's only because I had my summer bag with me. Now the comfort rating on that, which is a, it's a snug pack elite but the snu uh, comfort rating is like two degrees and that was probably about freezing last night it was frosty when i went to bed anyway so yeah it was more my feet than anything else my body was just a little bit uncomfortable but underneath me was fine but yeah it was just the top half of me so but i sacrificed a bigger bag so i could bring in my um cast iron dutch oven because i wanted a big cook up last night as you've seen on the video so far and it was well worth the extra sacrifice to be fair because that was gorgeous and I'll definitely be doing that again um, yeah so for, for Christmas I actually got Ray Mears cookbook and uh, yeah I just followed one of the recipes in there last night for a pot roast easy as pie anyway and yeah it was just lovely a couple of beers um, the full moon was out pretty much last night so couldn't really see that many stars that well it was really really bright but it was nice just watching the, watching the sky listening to the owls in the woodland and that's what it's all about for me you know this camp's been a long time coming um, it's been a long old year as soon as we got to Christmas it was I was gagging to sort of do some do some overnight camps if I could and uh, yeah I've managed to get one in but yeah hope you've enjoyed the video I'm going to pack up now and uh, hopefully I'll see you again soon bye
Well, the most important thing about wild camping, and I cannot stress this enough, because these woodlands, unfortunately, are getting trashed by other people, so. But if you're one of the good ones, always leave no trace, even to the point of scuffing all the leaves back over where the fire, that's where my fire was, so you can just about see a little bit of movement, but that will settle back in. That's where the bivy was. Between them two trees. That's it, exactly how I found it. 